Hello you guys have all been asking me about my workout so I put together this little mashup of booty, biceps and abs, everything you love. So grab some heavy weights or any weights that you have and let's get on with this video. I hope you guys really love it and get a good workout in. Let's go. Let's just do some hip circles start us off. Warming us up, how is everybody doing? We're going one side to right, just really open up those hips. Go the other way. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's just do some side to side lunges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Now the great thing about these workouts is that you can do them anytime. Anytime when the kids are asleep, at school, or wherever you may be. Now push that hip out to the side, out to the side. It's really going to open up that hip. We're working that inner thigh, all the way down that groin. Yes, we are working it. Now I realize I don't do a lot of these slow stretches in the beginning. I just kind of jump into it and I was like, hey, you know, maybe one day you want to warm up nice and warm up nice and slowly, right? Okay, let's go down to one side. Pull that heel up. We're going to get a really good stretch in that inner thigh. Oh, that hamstring feels good, right? Other side. Bend it. So, point it to the ceiling. Let's go. Stretch out those arms. Clasp them together. Stretching out. Bend your knees and then straighten them. Bend your knees and then straighten them. Now well, what we're doing here is we're warming up that hamstring because you guessed it, we're going to be working it. We're always working the hamstring, so we're going to warm it up. Put those hands on the knee, stretch it out where that hamstring meets the butt, arms straight out and reach. I love this stretch. Love it, love it, love it. Clasp them together and bend down. Try and get kind of 90 degrees if you can. And we're just stretching out that whole upper body. Okay, start right up with a quick warm up. We're just gonna do jumping jacks for 50, okay? One. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, for the next 30, I'm just gonna talk it out. Okay, I wanted to ask you guys, are you following me on Instagram? A lot of you can follow me on YouTube. Don't follow me on Instagram. Instagram, I do stories every day, so I might do what I eat, my makeup, my outfit of the day, and I do little short pieces of these videos so you guys can see. So, yeah, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Stunned by Samantha. If you don't have Instagram, get it. It is so fun because it's all visuals and it's an easy and quick way to see what's going on with me, what I'm eating, and how I'm working out, and what I'm wearing, <laughs> and how I'm doing my makeup. So yeah, be sure to follow me there if you're into that kind of stuff. All right, let's just do five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay. All right. Heaviest weights. Like I said, I'm grabbing 12s. We're gonna come up and do 20 bicep curls, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, this is so hard, uh, six, seven, struggling already. Eight, nine, ten. Now, if you guys have really heavy weights, go ahead and continue doing that. I'm going to alternate the next ten because these are really heavy. So, ten. You guys want the heavy weights? Keep going heavy with two, six, five. Four. I'm going to add some calf raises. Three. I like to add the calf raise whenever I can. Two. One. The last five. I'm just going to bring them up. I'm going to add on five. Five. Four. Three. Two. Why are these so hard for me? Ugh. When something is really hard for you, you have to worry about it and go, hey, maybe I can do that a little bit more. 
work on the biceps more because that hurts. Okay, first thing that we're gonna do is grab our heaviest weight. This is for me a 12 pounder. We do some goblet squats and we're gonna do 50. So we'll take a break after 25. Get a nice kind of turned out second position. We're gonna come all the way down and all the way up. And when you come up, squeeze your butt, okay? That's what it's for, two, three, four, five, six. Just getting started here. Seven, eight, from the side, nine. Squeeze that butt, 10. Shoulders straight, back straight. Don't hunch over. 13, 14, 15, 16, how are you guys doing? 17, you got this, 18, 18, 20, 21, 15, 23, 24, 25, okay, charge to the front, hold that weight, Leg nails, these long nails, get a good handle of them. We're actually gonna drop the weight to the floor and then back up. So, however, you're gonna work a little bit harder. That's gonna make me work harder if I hold this weight this way because I'm gonna get more space, make me work harder for 25. So, 25, 24, all the way down, 23. 22, now it's getting hard. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, oh my gosh, 12, from the side, 11, 10, Nine, eight, uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, uh, one. We're gonna stay down there. You guys know we are. Just stay down there, chill out for a second. I'm gonna turn towards you. Get in a good second. Let's just do pulses for 20, 20, 19, 12, 11, 9, 8, 7, now, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, focus, bring 1, heel up, 1, 2, Three, four, you're alternating. Five, six, can you go low in between? Eight, nine, ten, and ten more. I know it hurts. Ten, come on, you guys. Nine, eight, you can modify without the weight if you never, if you need to. Six, five, four, shoulders back. Three, God darn it. Two, one, uh, all the way down. All the way up, burning, burning your glute is burning. Take a short break. Let's just step side to side because I know, I know that was hard. We're gonna do shoulders and alternate. I, I went down to eight pounders. The shoulders are a little bit harder. We're gonna alternate for 10, nine, eight. Seven, it hurts. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn them out into a little bit of squat. We're gonna come up for 10, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna hold it up here. Okay, 
I know. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down. I know. Bicep curls. Ah, try to catch my breath. You do 10, alternating. Get a wide stance. Cross. 10. Other arm. 9. This is heavy. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Not done. We're almost done. Okay. So we're just going to do planks on the side. Our good friends. My hands are super steady, so that's going to be a challenge for me. Okay, we're just going to come up. Now, if you want, you can stack the feet. That's really hard for me, so I stagger them one foot the other. We're just going to come up for 20. So 20. Touch that hip. Two. Come up. Three. Four. Keep smiling. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ah. Nine. Ten. No more. My hand is slipping. Ten. Oh my god. Nine. Eight. I have to move it all bit. Sorry guys. Eight. Keep going. If you're good. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it. Get a nice crescent there. Hold. Two. Three. Four. Down. Excellent job. Yeah, I'm going to try to get those sweaty palms. Other side. Like I said, you can stack your feet. I like to stagger mine. Let's go up for 20. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14. 13, 12, 11, I'm struggling, 10, 9, ow, 8, oh my god, I'm tired, 7, 6, and sweaty, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 more, one, sorry, my form is off and I'm hurting, sweaty. Hold, nice crescent, crescent, crescent. Come down. <sighs> favorite, 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 favorite ab position. We're just gonna stay here, get to a nice straight plank. And we're just gonna hold it for 30 seconds. <sighs> Relax. <sighs> if you can. We have 20 more seconds. It's getting hard, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Stay there. Just gonna move our toes up and back for 20. Join me. 19, come on. 18, 17, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, come on guys, 2, 1, hold it for 10 seconds, here we go, 10, now it's getting hard. Nine, eight, seven, six, you can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a little break. Um, bring them in. You guys did that. Out, out. The app workout wasn't even that part. It was those arms, right? So grab one knee, yeah, starting with the right one. Make many little circles. Oh, we're working through that hip flexor. Ah, so much work all the time, especially on more mature body. Okay, take that and cross it over. 
crossing it full and dice. Great big stretch in that lower back. You can reach the arm up and down. I like to experiment a lot with arms. Pull them up and around. I'm gonna lean back to the side. Where do you feel it? Where do you feel stretch? If you feel any pain, obviously stop. Good side. Other side, pull it up. Let's do a little circle hip flexor. This is, this is the leg that got me. I hurt my back about five months ago, grabbing some roses, and because of it, it also kind of screwed up my hip. And so I've been really working on trying to recover. What I have noticed is in the last few years, Way. The last few years, it's been much harder for my body to heal, and these injuries that I've been getting, they last about six months, so I'm thinking that's kind of normal, so when you do injure yourself, yeah, the initial healing will probably be, you know, two to three weeks, but then it takes sometimes six months to a whole year for that injury to completely go away, and in some cases, you might just have a little tinge of it forever, and it doesn't have to suck. You can modify all your exercises and work with it. Okay, let's just come up, hug, give yourself a hug, a little roll, massage your back, and come all the way up. Here we go. All right, you guys, you did it. Another workout with me. Another workout with Stung by Samantha. Thank you so much. I have like 100 workout videos now, so if you guys started today, you'd have a different body in a year, for sure, over 40 years. So if you're turning 50 and you want your 50th birthday, you want to look like your best, Start now, okay? And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much. Put a comment below. I also have like 30 hair videos and makeup videos and tons of fashion hauls. I'm gonna do another one. So I hope you guys join me on that because this is a whole one stop shop for women over 40 and 50. Thank you guys again so much for joining me because I know it's hard, but the fact that you join me means you wanna change your life. Yeah, you do. I said it. Hi. Hi, my name's Samantha and I'm here with Sephora today to do my nighttime skincare routine for skin over 40 and over 50. I want to get all this off right away. So let's get right into it.